Hello friends, I'm wanting to share with you in this video, what is the three cells and the three cell team, about the three cell team and what is the concept behind it. Right now, what seems to be happening and what, I, what I'm witnessing that is happening is that the network of people are growing quite rapidly and there is connections happening here and there and lots of inspiration and lots of movement inside of the different ideas and projects and, and visions that, that we want to share and create and we've seen that now now is the time for creating for creating this this vision that we all carry this to me is part of the an emerging culture that is naturally emerging from the needs and from our unique perspectives and our unique way of being. This uh, I learned to call the next culture or it's also called the cultural creatives and it's also called archiarchy and it's the culture that is emerging where man initiated, initiated arch archetypally initiated woman and collaborate with archetypally initiated man. It means that man and woman that are initiated and are, are activated in their archetype are collaborating together. And this is our values are very connected with Gaia, with mother earth, with life, with love and connection and communication. And we're all coming together as a mass that is connected by our values that are creating amazing things in the world and are creating actually the change and the how we want this world to be without having the need to destroy uh, what's already there or change what is already there. We just want to create what we know it is possible. And these three cells is a, a way that we can organize each other so that we don't repeat the same mistake of something that already happened in the past. And what has happened in the past is that there is a hierarchy and there is somebody at the top that is controlling. This has been like a, a spiritual leader or a political leader, or in this sense, like that person at the top where the people at the bottom, they, de they delegate responsibility to that person in the top. And they say, oh, the, the, this person is gonna solve all of our problems and we give our responsibility to this person or this institution or this organization. And in this way, it's, it, this type of organizing, the hierarchy type of organizing, it, it creates this environment where it's propense and is, is natural for psychopaths and for people that are like seeking for power to, to go in there and, and create a, create a, a place or create a space or an organization that is not beneficial for the whole, but it's only beneficial for, for them. And, and then the rest are suffering the consequences of, of that one. And naturally so, because we, it was a, originally, we are the ones that were giving that responsibility to that higher, higher uh, image, uh, higher person. So what the three cells uh, provide, it's a, a way that we can organize together in a very, from a very small ways, uh, in a way that it can like grow organically and in a way that it doesn't become a, a top down, it doesn't become a hierarchy. And this, this idea of the three cells is inspired or it was uh, created by the possibility management team and this is their website. It's in a website. This website you can access it uh, from any any place that has access to computer to internet. And the website is three cells dot my strikingly dot com. And in a sense, in essence, the commitment is what it what is happening here is a uh, if you want to make things possible for others, if you want to make things possible for others, make them possible for you. Making things possible for others makes them possible for you. So here's how we evolve and grow up. We commit to helping to other people evolve and grow up. And with these two commitments, you have a three cell. Essentially, you are committing with two other people to help them 
uh, evolve and grow up. And this is the essence of, of the of the three cell team. And here down here, there is a, some more uh, drawings that can help us understand what that is. Okay, so here is the, the infinite gene and, and down here, it tells us a bit more with the people. So this one here in the middle, it will be you, it will be the person that's organizing, it will be you in the middle and you are connected with two other people on each side. So each one of these here, this will be two, three cells teams. And the, the reason, this is how it starts growing. Uh, for example, if I'm, the, if I'm starting a three cell team, I will ask two people, would you like to be in my three cell team? And then I have the, these two people in my three cell team. Uh, if, if they agree and they want to be in it, and the commitment is that we're gonna help each other evolve and grow up. And there is a bit more about the, the commitment just down below that I'm gonna share more. And then I asked two other people, would you like to be in my three cell team? And the, if they say yes, then I have one team and I have two team. And then I have two teams of three cell, of my three cell. And then, so each one of these person, each one of the people in my team, they can also have their own teams that they are connected to. And that shows up in this drawing here where the people in my three cell team, they are also connected to two other people in the in the three cell, in their own three cell team. And in that way, we are all connected. We're all continuing the connection and we have a, a commitment to help each other uh, evolve and grow up. And then like this, you can keep growing and expanding and, and other people can be in that in that network more more people growing in, inside of that and inside of the three cells and just like that it can keep growing and evolving and here it just gets so big that it's it's hard to count how many there are and here the cool things that he says that about the three cell is that it doesn't create a hierarchy there is no top down or bottom up and there is no center of authority Every person is the center of an expanding global network of three cells and is spreading out in three dimensions like the white threads of the mushroom mycelia. So this is inspired by, by the mushroom and the mycelium uh, too. These are the, the principles that feed the, the three cell uh, collaboration and is connection, commitment, clarity and conscious change. And then just like this, like our network of people inspire to create these dreams and to create a new reality, a new, a new way of relating, a new culture. This is how we are allowed to grow without this need to create a, a hierarchy. And this is uh, my achieve in the mind that is very big, it's quite big because we've been operating from a hierarchy Point for a very very long time. I I think like thousands of years we've been operating under that that organization, and this is break, breaking down that to not to not give responsibility to somebody else uh, to to delegate the, the the things that you are you are responsible for, and also to not allow others to give responsibility to you there to not give others their responsibility to you and um, because this creates uh, corruption in, in our way of organizing and ultimately it creates the way the destruction of the of the earth of the planet earth is creates a destruction of the human race and of ourselves and this part here um, I'm not an expert I'm, I'm just sharing uh, what I know about the three cell, there is still lots for me to to experiment and to be part of. And here is a like the core part that I wanted to share is that this is uh, the commitment with each other is to be present, to keep moving, to keep evolving, to connect, to commit. 
to consciously change. And you have now a home of like-minded friends that, that they are there to support each other's evolution. And this creates a one team that is growing um, organically and that we are all connected to that core course foundation. And these are some experiments done here that you are welcome to check and to, to see them. They're pretty exciting things that we can do in our three cells. And if there is a, any questions that you have, please uh, post them uh, in the comments or uh, send me a message with the questions. And let me know if, if there is any ideas or comments that you have about this. Thank you for watching.